That looks disgusting. Ah! It's the birth of pasta. That is <laughs> Hello viewers, I'm James May and I can't cook. That's why I've created Oh Cook, a new series on Prime Video in which I rustle up a bunch of recipes that any idiot can make. Now, as somebody who likes to make cooking as easy as possible, today I'm going to be testing some of the latest kitchen gadgets to see if any of them can help me turn out something half decent. Now, in order to pass the test, each gadget must satisfy my three requirements, and they are, is it idiot proof? Does it make cooking easier? And would I have it in my kitchen? Now, to make this a little more entertaining, I haven't seen any of these things yet. They're going to be handed to me. I'm going to do this as a blind test. Let's go. I quite like the look of this. Now, one part of this, at least, is a coffee maker. I can deduce that from the way it says coffee maker above the switch there. Oh, that is, ah. See, the heating element is there. That is like a mini hot plate, so you could put maybe some bacon. It's a pity it doesn't come with an actual clock, then it would work, I imagine, like a tea's made. You can put all your ingredients in, go to bed, wake up in the morning, ta-da! Am I roughly right? You're absolutely correct. I'm absolutely correct. No one has ever said that to me before. I should point out that I do actually have a whole assistant here, not just an arm. The arm is attached to someone called Joy, who is standing there. Thank you very much. Two there's pieces of bacon coming. is enough. There's smoke coming out of it. Well, there is smoke coming out of it. That's interesting, isn't it? What? <laughs> is it burning? No. No. I wouldn't say that was burning. I'm sorry, Joy, your egg is broken. You're sacked. I did say at the beginning I can't cook, and I can't. That looks disgusting. Those pieces are a little bit flaccid. What do you think, James? Does it answer your three criteria? So, is it idiot-proof? Yes, it's very, very obvious what it does. Does it make you a better cook? Do you need it? I don't think so, to be honest. I'm not convinced by the way this bacon is doing in what is essentially a steamer. Would I have it in my kitchen? No. I'm perfectly capable of cooking these things in a frying pan. You don't need these things. This is a cod religion designed to take your money. It's promising salvation like religions do, but really they're just taking your money. Next. Actually, I do think I know what they are. Are they onion goggles? Correct. Yeah. It does have to be a fairly strong onion, to be honest, to make me cry. Let me just a bit more. The onion goggles appear to be working. I am not weeping. Let's take the onion goggles off. I can just feel a slight tingle on the eyeball, but it's not making me weep in any way whatsoever. <laughs> nothing. I've got nothing. So that's inconclusive. Do they have a place in my kitchen? No, frankly, because they're trying to be funny and they're not funny, are they? Does anybody find these funny? Are these funny? So that's a no. So, oh, you put something in there and then you screw that on. I was warned by Joy as this came in that I would never get this, but I'm going to keep going anyway. Have you ever had a square egg? No. Why would you want the egg to be square? So if I put an egg in there, I'm assuming I press on here. Are we, are we getting this? Because this is very exciting. What am I not doing correctly? So the bit with the spike should go on the top. So you use it as a handle when you put it in at the top. How long do I have to leave that? About half an hour in the fridge. And now again, by the magic of television, Joy's socially distanced arm comes in. Thank you. With the square egg we prepared earlier. Down the middle. I still can't see what the point is. So, assessment of the egg squarer. Is it idiot proof? No, to be honest, because if you don't know what it is and you haven't read the instructions, it's really not clear what that is for. Does it help you make better food? Well, I don't think so. I don't think a square egg is any better than, than an egg-shaped egg. In fact, I think it's less good because it's aesthetically not right. Would this earn a place in my kitchen? No, because I think if people came around to my house and I served them square eggs, they'd think James is a total twat, and they'd be right. Next item, please. Now, my next gadget is apparently in the top drawer of the freezer down there, and Joy has mysteriously and inexplicably started frying some mints to my right here, which I'm going to interpret as a clue. Let's have a look what is actually in here. Is it that? It is. It says fat magnet, and it has a little arrow suggesting that it has to go in that direction. It's got something inside it. Does it remove fat from a pan of mints, per chance? <laughs> 
It's a bit of a giveaway, yes, yeah, supposedly it does. How does it work? How do you think? Well, it's cold, so the fat congeals on the cold end of the... So this is mince lamb, isn't it? Yes. Which is famously fatty. Now that, in my opinion, and I wouldn't say this very often about things, but that is shit. I could take this small saucer from the 1920s and do that, because it's quite cold, and of course, yes, it will pick up some fat. It is a fat magnet. Is it idiot proof? It's for idiots, undoubtedly. Does it improve your cooking? No, it makes no difference whatsoever. It just gives you something unpleasant to wash up. Would I have it in my kitchen? No. And I know you're all thinking it, it looks like a dildo. Our lawyers have asked us to point out that we are in no way associated with the makers of Fat Magnet. Right, could I have the next preposterous, over-engineered kitchen gadget answering a question that nobody has ever asked? Please. Thank you, Joy. So you fill it with something, and it's forced by this plunger, syringe style, through some small holes in the bottom. Ah. I know, it's for basting, but rather than you simply putting your basting juice on the top of your joint or your big turkey, you put it in there and then you press it into the meat. Correct. Am I, am I completely correct? Yes. Do you want to give it a go? Yes, please. Joy, would you mind terribly bringing me some socially distanced meat of some sort and some socially distanced marinade? Fabulous, thank you very much. Oh, yes. Right, here we go. Can you edit round that? That was a bit thick. Let's go for chicken. And I'm imagining that I press on that bit, the needles go in, and I press on that bit, and the marinade all dribbles out of the top. Is that going in? I think it is. Look, the level is going down very slightly. So let's think about my three criteria. Is it idiot proof? Yes, I'd say it is, because I worked out what it did. Does it make cooking easier or better? I think it probably does, marinating meat from the inside. Does it have a place in my kitchen? Yes, it does. I would like to experiment with this some more, and I'm going to steal it. So in episode two of O Cook, I make a steak for Nikki, my home economist, and I would like to revisit that episode and try it again, but with this. Nikki would be the perfect judge because she's bloody fussy. What else have you got? It's a bowl. You could put a lot of tea or coffee in it. Salad, custard, gravy, nuts, stew. Ah, wait a minute, it's Asian, noodles. You make... What would the modern teenager to have while a, sitting eating a on, spliff. on the table. <laughs> An iPhone. You put your smartphone there. <laughs> yeah. It's a bowl with a... Welcome to my cooking show. It is just a bloody bowl. We can selectively throw bits of it away. That's perfect. Oh, thank you. Extrusion only. I think it's a noodle-making machine. Am I close? Very close. Pasta. Mmm. Very thin spaghetti? Any pasta. I like the sound of this. Right, let's plug it in. So you're going to put some flour in it. So pasta being basically flour and eggs, isn't it? And yeah. Salt. And a little bit of water. <laughs> and now you're going to pour in the egg and water. So you can put a different attachment in here to get different shapes of pasta. Correct. Here it comes. Look at this. It's the birth of pasta. That is amazing. There's the first portion of pasta. I would say, yes, this is idiot proof. All you have to do is put the ingredients in and turn it on. It's as simple as a bread maker or a rice cooker. Yes, it will improve your cooking because you get nice, fresh egg pasta rather than the dried stuff. It's much more sophisticated. And yes, it does have a place in my kitchen. It has a worktop all to itself with flashing show business lights and a upbeat tune like Beethoven's Ode to Joy playing every time you turn it on. It's fantastic. Now, in episode three of Oak Cook, I made penne carbonara, and I used dried penne because it's much easier for the amateur chef, but I'd like to try it again using this machine and making fresh egg penne. Well, that was a lot of fun, and thank you for taking part. Some of those gadgets are truly impressive. Some of them, in my opinion, are a senseless waste of humanity's capacity for endeavor and invention. But never mind, if you're like me and you enjoy no-nonsense food made with no-nonsense equipment, then check out my new show, O-Cook, on Prime Video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Chip shop's open. For more content from me, click one of these links. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And why are you all so obsessed with me saying cheese?